Oh, okay. It's a leg day today. I'm going to be hitting the. Well, of course, you know if I'm doing legs, I always do the hamstrings and the quads. I won't. I won't. I might. I might. When it comes to the quads today, I might change it up a bit, and you know, instead of just doing like um like the normal squats or lunge or anything, I might do some inner thigh work, you know, on the adductor machine, abductor. But in any case, well, we'll decide then. Now I'm just gonna start with some, uh, some, uh, some hamstring curls for about five sets. And then we're gonna move on to some stuff, stiff leg deadlifts for the next for the last three sets because you know if you think about it for your hamstrings like there's two ways it's either if you you know flex at the hip so if you bend from your from your from your hips and you know give your hamstring that stretch or if you bend from your knees and give your hamstring that like you know curl type thing you know those are the two ways to work it and i feel like you should include both If you want for the quads for the quads I, I just think you know it's for the quads you just have to bend your knees right <laughs> like either way you won't escape that unless there's an exercise out there where you don't have to because as I said oh I don't know I don't know all about that so um, yeah I do have a class from but my, cl my class today is at, is at night from 6 to 8 so I can, uh, I'm not really in a hurry to do anything. And you know, tomorrow is my rest day, so I can just edit the video and post it tomorrow. Not really worried about uh, today. Oh, that is good. Whew. Okay. So it's rather quiet today at the gym. As you can see, I haven't, I haven't, I'm, I'm not going to have to mute the video as I'm working out and put on some background music to avoid the copyright. Well, that's because, well, there's a blackout today, so there's no electricity, thus no sound system, surround system at the gym. Ooh. Man, those, whew. It's kind of like, you know, like you're doing a bicep curl, you know, and you get the pump right on the, the contraction right on the bicep, just, just like that. But even better, because the hamstrings are, are much larger.
Oh. Okay, so I'm going to do the remaining amount of sets of camera so we can move on to some to something else. I'm not really sure, maybe some either some stuff like deadlifts or I could just do some standing, you know, hamstring curls. Or lying hamstring curls, honestly. There's a lot you can do. Hmm. But yeah, so um ooh, but that was good. But actually today, today, so today, well of course you know we're on the we're on the cut. So if you're on the if you, on the cut, so I've had my had my chicken breast and lentils in the morning. Just one. So around one chicken breast and one bowl of lentil stew. Now that, that one bowl of lentil stew for me is like half a cup of you know lentils. Like if you if you're trying to measure it. And then from there for lunch, it's probably gonna be like one or two cups of sweet potatoes you know, boiled and then air fried. Without like air fried without oil, you know, just to make them a bit crispy. With some, with my, I'll have it with my, with my protein shake. And then at night, it's gonna be another chicken breast and lentils. And you know, all in all, that is gonna be way below, like it's gonna fill me up, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to starve myself or anything, you know, but it's gonna be like, in whole, it's gonna be less, way less than you know my planned deficit. It's probably gonna be under a thousand, to be honest. Which is good, because as I said, you know, as when you're cutting, no need to overcomplicate things. You just eat stuff that will fill you up for as long as possible. But will, you know, cost as little calories as possible. I'm not really an advocate for starving yourself. It's not, unless you're going for like an extreme, like, and really quick type of cut. And you don't mind losing some lean muscle, your lean muscle mass with that. Not all of it, but just a part of it. But anyway, let's move on to the next exercise. Oh man.
So even with the lifting straps, they do help a lot in terms of grip. But it doesn't stop your forearms from tiring out before your posterior chain. Because as I said, you know, your posterior chain is a much larger muscle than your forearm and can take way more load than your forearms can. But I am able to squeeze in more reps, which is pretty good. And I can get a nice deep stretch. If you guys have noticed, like when I lift it and I go down, I do like a pump, you know, like a, like a one, two, and then I come up, you know? I don't just come up, you know? When, when you do a one, two, it like get some insane stretch. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really good. So I'm gonna do one more set of that. We can move on to, you know, the juiciest and most painful part of leg day, which is some quad action some quad stuff but you know but for me specifically when i'm doing quads if i'm doing squats that's when i really really get it but if i'm doing like extensions you know hey no 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 but the thing is burning up with the cc squats it's really tough it's it's, it's something else it's something else in terms of pain bro but if I'm just doing leg extensions or lunges, that's pretty fine. Lunges get me out of breath. Lunges is more of like a cardio thing. But if I'm doing like backs, heavy back squats or front squats, goblet squats, so the ones where you feel like where you just got punched in the gut, those are the ones that are really tough. So you can move on to those. Okay. So the hamstrings are done. It's time for some quads. Ooh. So I'm going to do the typical routine that we have been doing this whole time. Going to be some leg extensions. And then we're going to burn out with some CC squats. Because, you know, also like in the CC squats give you that kind of like the stretch that, that, uh, that a deadlift gives on your hamstrings. And, you know, you need that for growth, you know, like... For hypertrophy in your quad area so i'm gonna do these for five sets and then we're gonna move on to some probably some sumo squats i don't want to do just the abductor machine for my inner thighs i'd rather do like a sort of squat that emphasizes the inner thighs however still works you know the other parts of your thighs so this is probably gonna move on to some sumo squats for the last three sets or some lunges, because you know lunges also kind of work, well, not kind of, they also work your inner thighs more dominantly than your typical like back or front squat type of thing. But yeah. Okay, I think there is, I think there's a problem with the, yeah, there's definitely a problem with, with the cables for the machine. So I guess we'll just move on to a different, we're not going to do any leg extensions today.
Oh. Man. So if you've noticed the difference from the other squats that I usually do, or well, this is the first time on the all the leg day videos that I'm doing front squats. But also instead of keeping my knees like spread apart or my legs spread apart, I've kept my legs kind of close together so that I just focus on my quads more than the... I mean, even if you... Well, the closer your knees are together, the more you focus on your quads, but also the more pressure it is on your knees. So you have to be careful. That's why if you have a Smith machine, it's best to try it there. Rather than just on the squat rack. Three. So I'm gonna do the remaining set of camera. It's gonna be, of course, just the same thing while burning out with some CC squats. Next time I'll want to try some CC squats on the Smith machine, you know, with a barbell and some weights, instead of just free weighting. If my knees can handle that. Well, right, let's move on to some, uh, Probably some, some sumo squats for the last three sets after I'm done with this. Okay. My bad. I started the set. But I forgot to start filming. I forgot to hit record. But it's okay. Still have two more sets of these to go. That you can, uh, that's plenty of you to see. So I've set up these uh, boxes. And I'm doing some sumo squats. I'm not doing them in the goblet style where you hold the dumbbell up because I don't like doing that because, you know, well, one, I can't really lift, put that much of a load. And also, it also gives me some sort of like bicep pump trying to keep it afloat. You know, I'm trying to re reduce or have like no bicep action going on because they're supposed to be recovering from the pole day that was yesterday. So that's why I'm going to be hold I'm holding them down. So that's why I've set up these boxes so that I can like be higher than the ground and I can, you know, go down. Not while holding them like in a neutral position, but when they're like flat like this. So that I can, you know, put on my lifting straps and have more of a grip on it, you know. <sighs> yeah, so two more sets of these. And then I do my cardio. And then we're done for the day. We're done with leg day. Leg day is always the shortest day, man, out of all the other days. Because, you know, it's just, it's honestly just two muscle groups that you're targeting most of the time. Just, but on the other, on the other, on the other days, it's like three or four muscle groups. So it's kind of, it's kind of sus. Oh. oh, that is something. Like for these, on top of 
the inner thigh is getting worked. Kind of feels like the glutes are kind of getting worked as well. But you know, maybe you know, next time I'll try the inner thigh, like the adductor machine, you know, and just directly hit the inner thighs. Because if you want more of that 3D, you know, if you want more of that 3D leg, like you gotta, like it's kind of obvious that you need to work out everything, your inner thigh, your outer thigh. But see, your outer thigh, you don't really need to emphasize that much onto your outer thigh because it's really worked in a lot of exercises as an auxiliary muscle. I mean, your whole thigh is worked when you do stuff like squats or leg extensions. But I feel like if I'm going to emphasize, but you see, I'm not, if I'm going to emphasize, I'm going to emphasize on the inner thigh. But it's only going to be for three sets. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm never going to make it the majority part of my workout, giving five sets. Nah, I would never do that. So let's continue the sets. Oh, <laughs> so, man, yeah, the inner thighs are definitely fired up from that, but I'll definitely try some different variations, probably some back squats, sumo squats next time, not really a huge fan of these ones, they're kind of awkward, not gonna lie, so, yeah, let's, move on to, to tomorrow. Tomorrow is my, well, I'm sure you can guess it, but of course, after legs, you know the joke, push, pull, legs, rest, push, pull, legs, rest, push, pull, legs, rest. Like, that's just how it goes. And that's my start, that's my start sheet. It's just a four day split, you know, push, pull, legs, and then I rest, then I repeat. Push, pull, legs, then I rest, then I repeat, you know, just, just a four day cycle, four day split. So yeah, see you guys on, on when, let's see. See you guys the day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow should be, oh, whew. Well, those, those, those front squats with the CC squats, man, they had me like out of breath, but they had me feeling like I want to throw up. Those, I don't think I've ever done a squat as hard as that. I was feel, it's really one of those squats where you can taste blood at the back of your mouth. <laughs> Ooh, that's, those are one of, but that's, I'm sure that means that growth has been attained, man, because my quads are really numb right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go do some, of course, after this, after I do my cardio, I'm gonna go do some grocery shopping. You know, there's some stuff I need at home. I'm gonna do that shopping and then I'm gonna, I got, I have, let's see, I have class, I have class from 6 to 8 at night today. So that's going to be fun. Let's see, which class is it? I don't know, man. I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> but I'll probably edit the video tomorrow, and you'll probably see this posted tomorrow. Yesterday's video is going to be posted today. So yeah. See you guys on uh, for push.